In the year 1590, the colony of Roanoke nestled within the dense woodlands of what would eventually become North Carolina. The air buzzed with a palpable tension, a prelude to the malevolent force that was about to descend upon the unsuspecting settlers. The once thriving settlement had grown silent, its people gripped by an unspoken fear that clung to the air like a suffocating mist. It began with whispers in the shadows, eerie howls that danced through the night air like a haunting melody. The moon, full and luminous, cast an ethereal glow upon the landscape, revealing the twisted silhouettes of gnarled trees that seemed to reach out like skeletal fingers. The settlers, once hopeful pioneers, now found themselves gripped by an unknown terror that lurked in the darkness. As the nights unfolded, the horror took tangible form. A creature, either man nor beast, prowled through the settlement with the stealth of a ghost. Its eyes burned with a feral hunger that matched the brutality of its impending transformation. A colonist, cursed by the nefarious affliction of lycanthropy, had become a creature of the night, a werewolf. The first signs of the impending nightmare were the blood-curdling screams that echoed through the settlement. The werewolf, a monstrous force driven by an insatiable bloodlust, tore through the colony with savage ferocity. The night air was punctuated by the splintering of homes and the agonized cries of those who fell victim to the creature's unrelenting rampage. Panic swept through Roanoke, an uncontrollable wildfire that consumed any semblance of order or safety. The survivors, those fortunate enough to escape the clutches of the werewolf, huddled together in terror. They spoke in hushed tones, sharing tales of a creature that moved through the shadows, its monstrous form illuminated by the eerie light of the full moon. The once thriving colony had devolved into a gruesome tableau of slaughter, its streets painted with the grotesque aftermath of the werewolf's rampage. The brutality of the werewolf knew no bounds. Its claws, sharp as daggers, left a trail of mangled corpses in its wake. Homes were reduced to rubble, the air heavy with the metallic scent of fresh blood. Families torn apart, lives extinguished by a force that seemed more supernatural than earthly. In the aftermath of the carnage, a haunting stillness settled over Roanoke. The survivors, traumatized by the memories of the nightmarish massacre, found themselves unable to stay amidst the remnants of their shattered lives. Driven by a desperate need to escape the horrors that had unfolded, they etched a cryptic message onto the ancient trees that surrounded them. Coratone. The word, written in the blood of those who had perished, felt like a plea for mercy and a chilling warning to any who might dare to follow in their footsteps. The survivors, like shadows in the night, vanished into the wilderness, leaving behind a desolate ghost town. The blood-stained trees, now marked with the enigmatic message, Coratone, stood as sentinels to the unspeakable terror that had unfolded. Roanoke became a chilling testament to the night when a once-human creature, twisted by the curse of lycanthropy, had turned a hopeful settlement into a macabre realm of death and desolation. To this day, the blood-soaked trees silently whisper the gruesome tale of a werewolf's brutal reign over the colony of Roanoke.